Senator Ben Sasse's graduation speech for the Fremont High School class of 2020 has been getting some criticism, not only from the public, but elected officials. Here's some of what he said. You're going to say stuff at your high school uh, reunion service ceremonies. Remember that time that China started a big global pandemic that created the worst public health crisis in over a century and brought the economy to its knees and we had to stay at home and everybody was hoarding toilet paper and we all watched this documentary about some weirdo dude who raised tigers? Graduates, adults don't tell you this, but once or twice a week in real world life, someone's going to ask you to climb a giant rope. No reason, just climb the rope. We're going to have to have a serious reckoning with the thugs in China who let this mess spiral out of control by lying about it. Your generation is going to have a big calling. In fact, a lot of us spend a lot of our lives trying to forget as much about high school as we possibly can. You know what I mean. You, you remember sophomore year. You don't want those memories to be defining for you. And in fact, there are a whole bunch of people who make a whole bunch of money by just trying to help other people forget high school. They're called psychologists. In fact, 95% of all gainfully employed psychologists, and I'm serious, there are dozens of them that are gainfully employed, their job is really just to help people forget high school. And the other 5%, they just research hamsters who got lost in mazes. Yeah, you high school students who may need to talk to someone because you're experiencing depression? Oh, that's for weak people. Psychologists are pathetic. I don't even understand that. You know, Ben Sass, Republican senator from Nebraska, is often widely heralded by the mainstream press as one of the more sane Republicans in the Senate. But there he is behaving like Don Draper in the late 1950s, yelling at Betty who wants to go see a psychologist because she wants to feel better and understand herself more. Psychology, it's like that practice has been discussed openly as something that's been helpful for many people for like decades now. So yeah, this modern young Ben Sass who's uh, bringing Republicans into respectability, he might have some backwards beliefs too. Not to mention the abject xenophobia, which I guess we've come to expect from Republicans. But I, I the fact that it was put in so jarringly in this commen commencement address, this is for high school students. I guess it would be one thing for college graduates, even though he made it like abjectly political. Conservatives are always talking about, don't politicize this, don't politicize this. He was going off in that commencement address. And you know, I, I, I we talk all the, t the time about how hateful rhetoric towards China is actually manifesting itself in hate crimes in the United States against Chinese Americans, did he have any thought that perhaps there were Chinese Americans in that graduation class? No. This is being talked about as the worst commencement speech of all time, and it's basically a gimme for Democrats in Nebraska because Ben Sass is running for re-election. A Fremont School board member, Michael Peterson, called on Sass to apologize. You deserve better than the graduation remarks from Senator Ben Sass, he said to the class. The racism implying that our graduates are fat and lazy, that was another part of it, disparaging teachers and attacking the mental health profession are despicable. Sass is running for a second term in the Senate, and in November he will face the Omaha Democrat Chris Janicek, Janicek who also criticized the speech. This is just a fun story. <laughs> I hope those high school seniors will mock this idiot till the end of time. And another data point, major data point in the long list of uh, data points that show that conservatives should stop trying to be funny, <laughs> it doesn't end well.